officer down. I'm a tall man. Yeah. Black Paisley. I'm a tall man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I'm a tall man. One day I'm a blow up big and I'm a be a king and my papa told me it's okay to see my shoulders. Don't forget your dreams cause they'll get you through this. So call it life, they call it living, but I call it strange and I bet I'll do it. Cause I'm on my way and strong enough that I can shake the brain. Hey, Mr. Sunshine, Mr. Rainstorm, meet me in the conference room. We need to brainstorm, need some middle ground, need an even keel. But you a war, pick up sides, give me fever chills. Take them both like my flu shot broke. I need to give and take to keep me out of that moat. My head above water, thoughts of those lost this week. All this tragedy, say on repeat. So some exciting news has come about. Battlefield Hardline is now in open beta. The best part is, you don't even need an account to play. Seriously, that's the truth. Actually, you might. Honestly, I don't really know. All you need to do is go to the website, though. Or if you have Origin already downloaded, then you just can go in there and find Battlefield Hardline. And just click on Preload Now or whatever. And you can download the game for the extremely low price of free. That's right. You can have it free. Seriously though, I don't know if you guys are excited about this game, but I definitely am. I was uh, a big fan of the Battlefield series, especially Battlefield Bad Company 2. I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me on that. That game was a different different type of game for sure. On to this game though. From the about hour and a half that I've been playing it, I would honestly recommend it over Battlefield 4. That's just my opinion. Um, I'll give you a couple of reasons later, but uh, first I'd like to explain the game mode that I'm playing here. So basically, I'm playing on the police side right at the moment. That's what you're seeing now. Gotta kill those robbers. Because you can't have them steal all of our loot. That's our money. That's why we gotta protect and serve. For the greater good of the community. And our country and whatnot. But anyways, the game mode that I'm playing is called Heist. And the map that we're playing on is called Bank Job. It's kind of weird. Heist on the map Bank Job. Makes sense, I guess. Because I'm in the control room right now, and I can see them all on the monitors, taking our loot. That's rude. We gotta kill them. Don't worry. We do. I'm pretty sure we end up winning this game. But anyways, what we're supposed to do is basically protect our bank. So, we're supposed to kill off the robbers. I think they have about 100 lives. I'm sure it can be uh, modified in certain servers. But for this one, they have 100 lives, and if we kill them all off, then we win, and they lose. Pretty, pretty simple, right? But... They're trying to steal our, our money, so if they do manage to get our money, they run to, I think, about four different points, which they're always going to have to go back to the bank and get some more money. And if they make it to all those points, then they win the game, and they can capture all of our money. So I'm not sure if it actually adds to the amount of cash that you get in-game. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I'm sure you just get a certain amount after each capture. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the game mode, and uh, I would say this map's pretty good. No doubt. There's definitely some hiding spots. It's very close quarters, so that's why you saw me using the shotgun most of the time. If you know me, or you've seen previous videos, you'll definitely know that I love my snipers and shotguns. And the reason for that is because if they're on the end of the barrel, I know that they're gonna die. Unless, unless it's a sniper in this game, because then you have to get a headshot. Or have somebody hit them, or they have to be low health. You know what I mean. So here you see me using the Scout Elite. Yes, that's right, it's made its return from Battlefield 3. It right, is back. I believe, yes, it was also in Battlefield 4. I forgot, I forgot about that. But, I don't think a lot of people used it in Battlefield 4. I believe it was just mostly the SRR that was used. Because of its, uh, its travel distance. It had quite the range on that gun. No doubt. So this is one of the many roofs that you can actually get on. You can get on the middle of the bank. Which is just to the left of me right now. And what you're looking at right now is basically the spawn of the police. Now the reason I was up on this crazy rooftop here is because the police were trying to take back their money, but uh, what we had to do was get the money to the one point. I believe it's point B. So the sniper's job was to protect the carrier so he can make it to point B without getting completely destroyed. <laughs> which uh, I believe he actually did, which won us the game. Which is pretty nice. So, I was practicing my headshots up here with this teammate, and uh, what I noticed is that the velocity of bullets in this game travel a lot faster than they did in Battlefield 4. 
I think it only takes about one second, maybe, to hit somebody in this. Which I guess all depends on how far they are. But, uh, yeah, there's really no bullet drop. Especially at this range, which is nice. I feel like they've actually got it down packed now, because in Battlefield 4, if I shot somebody from that distance, they could probably dodge it if they wanted to. And honestly, it made me feel really satisfied getting a kill in this game. In Battlefield 4, it didn't really give me the same satisfaction as it does, or it did, in Battlefield Bad Company 2. Especially with the M98B, I believe that's what it's called. That crazy sniper that just obliterates people, especially in hardcore. Their body can go just ragdolling everywhere. That was a good feeling. And I feel like they brought that back into this game. So, I feel like I got my roots back with my sniper. So, I don't have to completely lead somebody by like 14 miles just to hit them. Even when they're pretty close. But anyways guys, this video is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys haven't checked out the game already, you should definitely do that. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Fuck what the sales be. My mama told me, one day I'm gonna blow up big and I'm gonna be a king. And my papa told me, it's okay to sit where shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams, cause they'll get you through this. So call life to call living, but I call